Hi, my name is Romano, I'm from Mexup, and today I would like to present to you our newest product, the UCS-10. Actually, it's a soundbar, but it includes a very nice 4K camera, and you can do a lot of things with it. It also has a six microphone array here in the front for a very nice pattern pickup of all the voices in the room up to a distance of about eight meters. You also have a loudspeaker included, which will fit for most of your small to medium sized conference rooms, huddle rooms, wherever you want to take that device. You can wall mount it, you can just put it on the desktop, um, whatever you want to use it. It's very smart, it's very easy. And today I would like to show you how to set up the unit. Here you see the remote control, which comes with the UCS-10. And the remote control actually allows you uh, the full setup of the unit and, of course, the full usage of the unit. While the unit is booting up, I just want to explain to you that the first time you turn on the UCS-10, you have to go through a very small setup menu. Uh, you just need to decide uh, the way you use it, whether it's a connection via a LAN cable or you go Wi-Fi. Uh, you just uh, enter all the credentials for the Wi-Fi you need, the passwords, and so on. And then you go through your country settings, you set date and time automatically, and so on. But once the unit is set up, you will see that screen over here. Not the below row, but the upper row you will see. So what do we have here when we turn the unit on? Actually, the UCS-10 has an Android system included on board. That means you can use it as its standalone device, just connected to the internet. And you can go here, like uh, through the browser. Right, It connects you directly to uh, a search engine. Or you see here, you have something like a finder. You just go there, you see all the different folders in the unit. It's a very practical device. Furthermore, we have a very interesting thing on, on there. We can actually share the screen wirelessly with any kind of laptop, PC, or tablet, or smartphone. Here you see the setup procedures. You just scan the QR code with your device and it will lead you to a small app so you can actually share the screen here. You will also see always on the top of uh, the screen on the right side, you will see the code so you can directly connect. Let's quickly have a look into the setup uh, in the settings meeting. You can choose the Ethernet connection, wireless connection. Here is our wireless hotspot, which I just told you we can connect up to four devices via wireless screen sharing. Yes, you can set up a lot of other things, device name, sound, and camera, but yeah, that's your own choice. Let me real quick explain to you how the unit works and how you can actually use it. It has two generally different ways how you use the device. The first one I would call it is the standalone terminal. Why? Because we have an OS here and after you set up the unit, please follow the link which you will see down in the video. Uh, I'm showing it. It actually leads you to a web page from MaxHub where you can download all your preferred uh, video conference applications for that device, for the software, for the firmware. So always refer to this. If there's a new firmware coming out, you will also find the firmware. Plus, you will find the applications which run and which will work on that firmware with the UCS-10. It's actually an easy thing to do. You just put it on a flash drive and put the flash drive in the USB connection on the rear side of the UCS-10. On the small picture we're just uh, showing you now, you will see what kind of connections we have on the rear side. We have HDMI, we have USB 3.0, we have USB 2.0, uh, we have of course the power connection and we have the RJ45 plus the power on and off button, which yeah, you just use once, then you just use remote control. So let's have a look. We've made the setup, we've downloaded the applications we want to use, and what else? We can just go here, let's say I'm using the application Skype. I pre-installed it on here, and I just push the button, so Skype will open. I was already turned in, and honestly speaking, when I use the unit as a terminal, I got myself a wireless mouse and keyboard, because then the usage is much easier. So here, you just click on whatever, name whatever of your friends or, or people uh, in the company you want to call or from external company. Um, here I want to show you real quick how the camera will look like. I'm sitting pretty close to the unit, but I have a, still a really good pickup pattern. If I go further away, of course, we have auto framing. The camera will follow me not only by picture, but also by sound. So if I'm moving 
further away in the room, the camera will follow me, it will focus on me, and that will be shown. Okay, so that was just an idea on using Skype. You can use Zoom, Teams, WebEx, BlueJeans, whatever kind of video application you use. That's the use like a standalone device. And the keyboard I actually only use if I really have to enter something, like my name and stuff like this. That's much easier rather than entering it with uh, the application in here using just the mouse or the remote control, just to make things easier, okay? So that was number one, using it as a terminal. Now, most of the people nowadays, what they really want to do is, or asking for is, how can I just bring my own device? And I have uh, an AV bar or sound bar with camera installed like the UCS-10 on my LED screen or large display. So what do I do? Yeah, I bring my own device. So here you see, uh, today I brought an Apple device, a MacBook. And what I'm doing is I'm just connecting one USB cable, it is connected to the UCS-10 port. I just connect this one USB cable to my laptop. So now what will happen? Very easy thing. What will happen is um, if I go, for example, again to my Skype here, uh, and I'm going to my settings of audio and video, you will see here that the camera is already automatically turned to the unit. So. Once you've done that the first time, it actually chooses the camera directly here from the unit. The audio settings, so for the microphone and for the loudspeaker, are also already set. That means very easy. Okay, you can run your application. But now, how do I bring my video on the screen? So I can actually share the screen with the people in the room, so everybody can take uh, part of that uh, conversation. So now, we're going to be easy. I explained to you, we're connected to the internet with the UCS-10. It has its own Wi-Fi access point inside. So what I'm doing now, I'm choosing the Wi-Fi of the UCS-10. Max up, UCS-10, that's my Wi-Fi. And, of course, in an Apple device here, I go to AirPlay and just go to share my screen. And, ta-da, I'm sharing my screen. So exactly the same screen I have here. I now have here on my display, but I'm still connected only with one cable, one USB cable to share my own, uh, bring my own device, sorry, and uh, share my screen. And so, yeah, we can start the video conference. So sharing a screen is really a nice thing, especially if you cannot only share with one device. So let's have a look the same I did here with my laptop, except of course putting the USB cable inside. I choose the web, uh, sorry, I choose the Wi-Fi of the UCS-10. So here you see in my iPhone, I'm choosing MaxUp UCS-10 as my Wi-Fi. As soon as I'm connected, I just open my screen sharing uh, AirPlay from my iPhone. And what you see here is exactly what I have here on the screen. Um, I think that's a fascinating uh, unit to have because look, I can even show a live camera. So you don't need something like a document camera or a webcam or whatever. You want to share your screen, you just show here, hey, that's what you can show here. That's my devices I have uh, on my desk. I can explain to you here, you see a nice picture of the remote control. I'm alive. I mean, we're alive here in the video. There is nothing uh, done or uh, made on, on purpose, okay? so. I stop sharing my screen. I'm back to my own device here on my conference. Whenever my conference is over, I just stop sharing my screen. And yeah, of course, I have my screen over here. I just close my device. I disconnect my device. And I'm ready to go back to work, to the next meeting, to have lunch, to whatever. OK, that's it. Um, there's also a quick start guide available in several languages so far for the UCS-10, check it out. It's a very nice device. It's very easy setup. It's very easy usage. And just try it out. Ask your local dealer or your local representative, wherever you are in Asia, in Europe, in US, just go ahead and ask for the UCS-10. Thank you very much for today. This was Romano from MaxUp. See you next time. Bye-bye. Max up.